Hey guys, tutorial from Mind Specials. Normally Liam would do this, but he's busy at the moment, so I'll be taking it from here. What you first want to do is get four buckets of water and then put each one in the corner of a little place like this, like I'm doing right now. Because this will create then an infinity pool of water. To make cobblestone, what you have to do is first make a small stream for the water and then you'll also have to have lava ready so you make a s small stream as you can see just wait here you go and to make cobble you have to make sure that the water touches the lava not the other way round so what you do from here now is fill this place up with lava what you can do is obviously what I did here make the source up there then you destroy around the lava and also as you can see here I didn't have enough water because it wasn't touching properly so what I did is I quickly went around and put some more water from the infinity source as you can see and then you see the smoke right there which it means it has made cobble you take the source of the lava away and then there you go cobblestone now to make obsidian it's the other way around from cobblestone you put the lava on the water as you can see here I put the lava in the infinity source of water and you have to put it on the source otherwise it won't work properly or at least on flat water and then what you have to do is you have to use a diamond pickaxe to mine obsidian every other type of pickaxe will destroy it and will take much longer with a diamond pickaxe it will take around 30 to 45 seconds to mine obsidian as you can see here taking ages isn't it now what you want to do is get 14 blocks of obsidian this will make a portal to nether or should I say your mom's ass Nah, I'm joking guys so what you have to do is make it four blocks wide five blocks high as you can see that's half of it then you make it four blocks wide again and five blocks high and then all you get is a flint and steel and you smack that obsidian like you smack your mom's ass <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> and then you jump in the nether don't just jump through it stand in it and you will end up in hell sorry that was a friend as you can see this is nether and right there that's not a cloud that's glowstone what you want to do is get mine that stuff and then you will have some powder if you put if you fill your workbench with that stuff you'll make a glow stone pretty useful for being a torch stuff like that now a lot of people ask what happens when you die in nether this is what happens you go for a retarded swim in lava this person is obviously an idiot as you can see what I did there is I had it on peaceful mode so I had to change it so I actually die and then you respawn and where you respawn is, as you can see, you leave the nether and you just respawn where you normally respawn. And that's a good thing because if you respawn in nether, you'd be in there forever. And thank you for watching the video. Rate, comment, subscribe.